edition of Fantasy Dream Homes, and today we are headed to La Jolla, California. And La Jolla, for those of you who don't know, so first of all, we're going to stop right there. This is the Mexican-American border right here, the yellow. San Diego sits right on the Mexican border, basically, uh, you know, and its suburbs, you know, like so San Ysidro technically is down here. But La Jolla is a northern suburb of... San, it's not really a northern suburb, but it's it's just north of uh, downtown San Diego. And if we move in just a little bit closer, I'll just show you a couple things really quickly. The Some of the priciest and most expensive real estate that you're going to find in the San Diego area is located in La Jolla. And why? Because it's a very picturesque community. It's got lots of upscale boutiques and you know, some nice jazz bars and great restaurants and things like that. So it's definitely a tourist attraction. Matter of fact, I would say if you're visiting the San Diego area, one of the places you want to go to is La Jolla. And particularly, I would recommend you go to what's called the Cove. And the Cove is this area right here, and I'll tell you, parking is next to impossible. Um, you're going to probably have to park on one of these side streets and walk down unless you get there very early in the morning. Why the Cove? Well, they have a beautiful park. It's absolutely a beautiful area, and La Jolla is definitely worth seeing by itself. But the sea lions, these are all sea lions. Well, there's some people, too. You can see the tall shadows, but they're sea lions, and they just camp out on the beach and the little pups, you know, the little baby sea lions. And you can walk down these stairs and walk among the sea lions. There's another staircase right there. And they're just lying there on the ground and they just ask that you not touch them. You can also rent at some of these shops. I think there's a shop up here on the corner somewhere. Let's see. I am well anyway, there's there's a surf shop and scuba shop. You can rent goggles and fins and snorkels, and you can go snorkeling in here. Just so you know, the water is kind of cold in San Diego. And, and as, as a matter of fact, along the whole Pacific coastline. Why? Because it is part of the Alaskan current. Everybody, well, a lot of people, you know, labor under the misconception that water in California is going to be warm like it is in the Gulf of Mexico and Florida. Not true. It is quite chilly because you have all of this current coming down from the state of Alaska, bringing all that cold, cold water down like this. And it is takes some getting used to. So just be aware of that when you're visiting. So we're going to get right on to our three homes. We have three homes we're going to be looking at today. The first home you see right here is practically slumming compared to the next two homes. And you can see this is going to be the only one that's not right on the water, okay? And as a result, it's going for a bargain price of $5.5 million. Five bedrooms, seven bathrooms. It's over 5,800 square feet. It's sitting on 0.52 acres of land, and it was built in the year 2002. So let's check out our first fantasy dream home.
Our second home is going for a little over 12, almost $12.8 million. It's six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 9,200 square feet, half an acre of land, and was built in 2006. So let's check out this next dream home. So I'd like to take a minute and just show you something I think you would really be interested in. If you like the YouTube channel Fantasy Dream Homes, I think you're really going to like the Pinterest page of ours, uh, Fantasy Dream Homes, by the same name. You can find it here, right up here. Here's the uh, address, the URL address, pinterest.com slash fantasy dream homes. And if you scroll down here and we go to our boards page, you will see boards that, if you like looking at luxury homes, you're gonna love this Pinterest page. We have everything from magnificent master bedrooms to ultimate master bathrooms, luxury dressing rooms, kitchen ideas for luxury homes, butler's pantry, cozy nooks and alcoves, reading rooms, you know, grand entryways fantastic fireplaces. We also look at luxury appliances and we look at plumbing fixtures and we look at lighting and we look at staircases, swimming pools and flooring, furniture, anything you would see in a uh, luxury home, this is the place to go. And if you want, like say for example, you click into archite architectural styles of homes, Okay, you actually can see all the different, we've separated uh, all the major categories of homes, log cabins, contemporary style, craftsman, Queen Anne, Greek revival, Tudor, Victorian, 
So there's something for almost everybody who's interested in home architecture or luxury homes. So we invite you to, to please visit our Pinterest page and we'd like you to follow us on Pinterest. And we hope to see you on our Pinterest page. Thanks a lot. Okay, and we're going to do a two-parter in this video, just so you know. And this is the last home of this particular video, and it's $20 million. And it's six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, over 13,000 square feet, and sitting on 3.78 acres of land that was built in the year 2010. So let's check out this next home. Okay, so we hope you had a good time visiting those homes, and we would love it if you'd subscribe and become part of our community and leave your comments of what you liked about the homes and what you didn't. When you do subscribe, click the bell for notifications so we'll let you know every time we come out with another video. But during this pandemic, we want everyone to be safe, so we hope you are being safe and staying in when you can. So keep smiling, everybody, and take care. We look forward to seeing you next time here on Fantasy Dream Homes. Bye-bye.